your purpose because understand this whoever threatens you threatens God hallelujah whoever opposes you opposes God hallelujah whoever declares a curse against you is uh, coming up against God hallelujah hallelujah because God has declared that you are made in his image and in his likeness God has declared that he has a hope for your calling God has declared you anointed and that's why the Bible says it is a righteous thing for God to trouble them that trouble you that's why the Bible says that God will fight against them that fight against you because this is not just about you. It's about the deliverance of all the people that are attached to you. It's about the thing that you are about to birth in the earth. Do you think that God is going to sit back and allow a devil to abort his purpose? The devil is a liar. Forever is his word settled in heaven. The thought of his heart goes to all generations. So a devil coming up against your purpose and coming up against your anointing and coming up against against your livelihood is coming up against the counsel of God is coming up against the generational plan of God and whoever comes up against God must be destroyed because it is written evil shall slay the wicked and they that hate the righteous shall become desolate so if God has declared he said to Jeremiah that before I formed you in your mother's womb, you were ordained a prophet to the nation. Do you really think that anything the enemy sends against your life will be able to prosper? Who can overrule the will of God? Hallelujah. Who can abort the purposes of God? Who can overrule what God has designed and God has predetermined from the foundations of the world? No man can. No spirit can no system can no spell can no curse can because he is the supreme god hallelujah so the altar is there to preserve life so when people ask you why you pray so much let them understand that this is a death and life situation i've got to spear my own life I've got to spear the life of my family members, saved or unsaved. I've got to spear the life of my children, even, even my unborn seed. I've got to spear their life. Hallelujah. I've got to spear the life of the person attached to me because I recognize that the enemy comes but not to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Hallelujah. And so, brothers and sisters, you've got to pray so that life is preserved and life is speared. 